Hey guys, and welcome to the new thing. And, as I do every October, it's a horror game. Although I'm doing something different this time around, and wow, this is a long black screen. Uh, you gonna load? Oh, there, finally. Um, I hope that didn't lag the recording. I think it might have, but wow, that was fast. Um, <laughs> Fatal Frame, the first one, because I've played the third one. So, yeah. Um, just do it. Um, I'm gonna be doing something different this time around. I wonder how long it's been since my brother and I began to see things other people can't see. My big brother. He was so sweet and kind. He was the only one I could open up to about these visions. After our mother died, he was my only family. So this is Himuro Mansion. Fatal Frame! Yeah, you already knew that from like 30 seconds ago. My brother was in search of someone. Junsei Takamine, a famous novelist. And a man my brother was very indebted to disappeared while researching a book. When he told me that he got a lead on Mr. Takamine's whereabouts, He was going far away. Himuro, intro. So, okay. Um, let's see. Are they going to talk anymore? I want to make sure it's quiet. Of this area. It looks like Mr. Takamine was doing research into them. I wonder if his group is still here. I wonder if his group is... What? Oh, okay, I'm already getting a rumble on my controller. Um, so, okay. Let me see, can I get subtitles? Um, I cannot. That's all I got. Hit return, option, and this is it. <laughs> um, so, uh, brightness. I think I'm already... I think it's pretty bright enough. Um, stereo. That's fine. Okay. But anyway, what I was going to say earlier was that um, some people are not completely into horror games. And, of course, I'm picking... You know, whenever I do horror games, I always pick, like, the scariest franchise, you know... One of the scariest horror franchises that's ever been made. Fatal Frame. Box of film. Type 14 film. I found type 14 film. I think I can use it with my camera. Um, camera controls. Okay. Uh, while holding the camera, press the circle to take a shooting stance and enter finder mode. Okay. You take photos with the X or R1 button. On finder mode, you can control the viewer, uh, player's viewpoint with the left analog stick. <laughs> okay. So, tutorial, scraps, file, alright, so, if you press circle, you can bring up the camera, and then, oh, that's gonna get annoying. So what they did was, um, you move the actual viewpoint, you, you know, like, you move which way the camera is facing with the left stick, and then you move the character with the right stick. That's gonna be tricky to get used to, but yeah. Uh, let me see. 
Okay, I think the recording's coming out all right. I might have to boost it a little bit. It's really dark on my TV, but it looks a little bit better. Sorry, I'm just checking the, uh, the recording as opposed to my TV. It looks like you guys can see a lot better, so that's good. Anyway, what I was saying before... Um, I pick the scariest horror franchises whenever I, whenever uh, Halloween comes around, or October. So I figured I would throw something else up along with this. So keep your eye open, and the next game will pop up. So yeah, for those people that don't like super scary stuff, let's do it. For those of you that are brave, continue to watch. Um, now, let me see. Can I... Huh, I don't have any other kind of film. Okay. Um, so if you want any lore, um, just, oh. Hi. Rope Hallway Man. Okay. Uh, if you want some lore, um, this game is, um, based in the Himuro Mansion, which is one of the most haunted places in all of Japan. Or at least rumored to be one of the most haunted places in all of Japan. Uh, I believe they actually do tours of the place, and people, like, I think one time I heard, like, there have been 13 different occasions when people have said they uh, cited things that, you know, were um, abnormal there. And that was even during the day. Um, this room right here was used in uh, Fatal Frame 3. So, yeah. Oh, why am I getting a rumble? Aha! Now, in this game, uh, when you're near a ghost or something, the controller will uh, rumble, similar to a heartbeat. So if you use that, you can kind of find hidden places in the, in the map. And then if you take a picture, as you can see, that um, there's a filament down there. When that filament is lit up, you're looking at a, uh, at a hidden ghost that's not actually going to hurt you or anything. And if you take a picture... You can see uh, things back there. Like you can get a little picture of a, uh, a harmless ghost. That's mostly for, like, completion and, uh, score. I know it sounds really weird to say that, but yes, you actually do get points in this game. Like, the better pictures you take, you actually get points. Or maybe that was actually in, um, later games, but I know for a fact that it's in 3. It might be in 2. So, yeah. We're gonna go and follow that rope hallway man. Oh, well, hi, me. Has one handsome-ass ass right there. Okay. Anyway, um, he walked this way. Let's see. Okay. What do we got? Um, let's see. Anything? There's an old suit of armor here. Doesn't seem to be just for show. Seen some hard use. <laughs> That's cool. Now, can I take it? Uh, let's see. Can I? Ah, oh, whoops. Wait, wait. There's an old lion mask. Many others and many other antiques too. Collecting was the owner's hobby? <laughs> um, lots of antiques here. Okay. Uh, well, anything special in the drawer? Nothing special. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. No, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. <laughs> oh, hi. Man looking down. Um, I'm probably gonna... Oh. Anything? Oh, there's something near here. But, um... There's something I'm going to be doing a lot in this Let's Play, and I'm sorry for that, but I just won't be able to help it. The thing is, I'm used to the controls of Fatal Frame 3, because that's the one I always played first. Or, it's one I played first. And, um, the way you bring the camera up in that game is you press triangle. And in this game, when you press triangle, it brings up the menu. So, yeah. Or it brings up, like, your stats and stuff. So, here you can get your map. Um, don't have much of it yet. You can see your items, like herbal medicine camera, your film. You can see all your photos. And you can see files and, uh, stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay, now. Oh. Can I do anything here? Because I see, I'm seeing this thing here. Oh, what? Are there any books of real interest here? Oh, well, come on. You didn't even look. Old books. They talk about, they're about dark rituals. Okay. Let's see. Is it the bookcase? Ah, here we go. Ah, and see right there. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, okay, you can see that. You see how there's a slight... Oh, oops. You see how that area is wavering like that? It looks kind of like heat. 
um, like out on the street or whatever, um, that's how you can tell exactly where you need to aim. You need to look for that slight, uh, that slight waver. Let's see, what do we got? Angry man. I can't even make out what he looked like, but okay. I'll take it. I'll take your uh, your word for it that he was angry. Okay, get on up the stairs. Okay. Oh, hey, shiny. Let's get it. Oh, maybe it'll be a Rathian ruby or a plate. This notebook. It's Mr. Takamine's. Mr. Takamine, so he did come here. Shooting ghosts, not with a gun, with a camera. Shooting ghosts. Hold up the camera with circle button and press the shutter with blah 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 to attack ghosts. When the target is inside the circle, power, mystical power, accumulates. Thank you for, uh, thank you for clarifying that the power is mystical in nature. Okay. <laughs> the damage you inflict on the ghost goes up as you accumulate more power in the camera. While you have the ghost in your viewfinder, the circle glows. Take a and the circle glows, take a shot. You can inflict heavy damage when you take a, a shot during a shutter bug moment. A shutter bug moment? I believe it's just called a shutter moment, but whatever. Anyway. So as you can see, when there's a ghost in the thing, it will gain power down there, and boom. So this game, oh, zero shot and core shot, that's good. So, pull them in the shot. And then wait, wait for it. Boom. If you take pictures at the exact right time, you can um you can inflict more damage. Like if they're just about to attack you, take your shot and then you'll inflict I more damage. Captured a ghost with this camera. This camera has the power to expose things the normal eye can't see. I remember the incident from which I learn of its unique power to capture ghosts. God, this dialogue sucks. <laughs> it doesn't really suck. Oh, um, how the hell am I supposed to get a shot of that? Uh, okay, I guess I can't really get a shot of that. There's no way. It was beneath me. Um, oh, come on. Okay, can't drop down. Staircase has fallen down. Probably been down a while. Nothing to do with Takamine. How the hell do you know that? <laughs> There's no way to be sure. Maybe he came in here with a sledgehammer and broke it. Just to be an ass. Um, let's see. Nothing, I believe. Can we go this way? Ah, there's a black padlock on the door. Okay. You damn racist. How do you even know it's black? I mean, oh, well, I mean, I guess he's got a flashlight, but still, you'd think it'd be kind of hard to tell, but whatever. Ah, no, don't go back up. Don't go back up. Thank you. <laughs> uh, nothing there. Let's see. Uh, I guess we'll just need to follow this other ghost back. Oh, the door to the entrance is open, but I'm sure it was just closed a while ago. Man, if only he saw that extra, that other camera angle, then he might have known. <laughs> uh, what is that again? Is it situational irony, or is it... 
Oh, I forgot the name of the type of irony that is. It's where a character in fiction, it's where the reader knows what's going on, but the character doesn't know what's going on. I forgot what that's called. But anyway, next time on Fatal Frame, we're going to pursue this ghost and shoot it with a camera and film and get it developed. And then it'll be really embarrassed because I didn't take a good picture. So see you then.